Remember AI 2027, the viral scenario that predicted super intelligence AI would take over the world by 2027 and potentially end humanity. The one that got referenced by Vice President Vance. The one that tech executives sweating and policymakers scrambling. Well, here's the thing. Even the guy who wrote it just admitted it's not happening. So one of the main authors who pushed his own predictions back, and we're not even through 2025 yet, and the scenario is already missing its milestone. Now, Gary Marcus, one of AI's most respected critics, called it what it actually is, quote, a work of fiction, not a work of science. And the math, the scenario requires about eight different prob improbable things to all happen perfectly. And the odds of that are absolutely negative zero. Like they're negative below zero. So how did science fiction almost become the basis for American AI policy? We're going to break it down today because this is so far off now that it's almost laughable. Let's dive into it today. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we love to tr build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right. Look, I've been building software for a quarter century, and I've watched the dot-com bubble, the Web3 hype, the cloud frenzy, and now the AI frenzy. And every single time, the pattern is the same. Dramatic predictions, mass panic, and then reality sets in. AI 2027 was released in April of 2025 with beautiful graphics, impressive credentials, and a terrifying story about AI going rogue by 2027. And it absolutely went viral. It got briefed to government officials, and now it's becoming a cautionary tale about what happens when speculation gets dressed up as forecasting. Now, by the way, if you've been following the AI 2027 drama, drop a comment down below, because generally it's my favorite thing and the best compliment you can give me. So let's dig into some reasons why AI 2027 was always just science fiction, how it was never even going to be a reality, but how it's really stirred up the hornet's nest. So... AI 2027 was an article that was published. I'm going to get my head out of the way here so you can see these pretty graphics here. There was predict and it was said, we predict the impact of superhuman AI over the next decade will be enormous, exceeding that of the Industrial Revolution. And they went in on to talk about what would happen here. And you can watch on the gra graph here, right? Agents are impressive in theory, but in practice, unreliable. Late 2025, the world's most expensive AI, open brain, and there, you know, this is obviously a very thinly veiled uh, reference to open AI is building the biggest data center the world's ever seen. Um, so you can see that AI is continuing to scale. GPT-4 required two, you know, two to the 10, two times 10 to the 25 to train. Open brain's latest model is uh, 10 to the 27th. Once the new data centers are up and running, they'll be able to train a model with 10 to the 28 flop. And so it goes on to kind of make all these crazy predictions. Um, instead of research trying to identify cases where models seem to deviate from the spec, Agent 1 is often psychopathic, and it tells researchers they want to hear instead of trying to tell them the truth. And if you rig demos, it even lies in a more serious way, like hiding evidence that it failed on a task in order to get better ratings. However, in real deployment settings, there are no longer any incidents so extreme as 2023 and 2024, like Gemini telling a user to die and being Sydney being being Sydney, right? Um then early 2026, it says coding automation. It says the best, the better of using AI to speed up AI research is starting to pay off. Open Brain continues to deploy iteratively. Several competing public releases of AI now match or exceed Agent Zero. People naturally try to um, try to compare Agent One to humans, but it has a very different skill profile. It goes through, and this isn't where it is. But now, mid 26, China wakes up, right? Because it waited till mid 2026. So it was kind of funny. You see, it started, you know, reliable agents started to tick up. But as you scroll through this, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, so if you want to read it, you can. But you can see reliant agent, reliable agents copied thinkings, right? And as we keep going through here, it goes through a lot of these, and you see it start to get sound bigger and bigger and scarier and scarier and scarier and scarier. Now we start to see China's compute centralization. It starts to scale out of control. March 27, algorithmic breakthroughs, starting to solve world peace and whatnot. I don't remember exactly all the independence. I read this some time back. Alignments for Agent 3. Open Brain Safety Team attempts to align Agent 3, but researchers don't have the ability to directly set the goals of their any of their AI. Indeed, the researchers think the concept of true goals is probably a massive oversimplification. They don't have better theory to replace it, much less one that has thoroughly been thoroughly vetted. 
Now, we get to the next one, national security, right? News of the new model percolates slowly through the U.S. government and beyond. The president and his advisors remain best informed and have seen an early version of Agent 3 in a briefing. They agree that AGI is likely imminent, but disagree on the implications. Will there be an economic crisis, et cetera? So they think they've actually gotten to real AI. June 27, self-improving AI. So they say by June 27, it's going to be self, fully self-improving. Research automation deployment trade-off, right? The, the cheap remote worker trailing US, U.S. AI companies release their own AI is approaching that of Open Brain's automated coder by January, recognizing their increasing lack of competitiveness. They push for immediate regulations to slow Open Brain, but they're too late. Open Brain has enough buy-in from the president that they will not be slowed. So now we've vilified even the president of this too. Anyways, it goes through, and by the end, you can see... Super AI researcher. The new AI system is dubbed Agent 4. So we're up to Agent 4 now. Then by Agent 4, we see October 27 government oversight. The whistleblower leaks a misalignment memo to the New York Times. For the first time, the public hears about Agent 4. Secret open AI brain is out of control. So now we have an out of control AI and it's running uncertainty. So it's like choose your ending, et cetera. And it goes to like one of those, you know, choose your own adventure type books like you used to read in elementary school. Um, the whole thing sounds scary and talks about it, you know, running. Now, one of the things is that Gary Marcus just recently said, the good news is they can rest more easily. The bad news is we've been building our world around a fantasy. It's official, the widely discussed AI 2027 scenario name checked by Vice President, a lot of the New York Times and panned by me. You know, the one in which AGI's research is reached in 2027 and in short, uh, orders, uh, in short order kills us all has officially been postponed by its creator. So even this guy says, yep, things seem to be going somewhere slow, somewhat slower than AI 2027 scenario. Our timelines were longer than 2027's when we published and now we're a bit longer. Around 2030, lots of us uncertainly though, is what I say these days. So he's saying now the super scary AI agent is going to be 2030. Um, this is frustrating given the amount of fear the project has generated uh, with the media tour around it and Daniel. <laughs> so they're surprised that it actually made people scared. Surprise. Now, we see another one. This post attempts to answer the question, how accurate is 20, AI 2027 timeline so far? The AI 2027 narrative has been published by April 3rd, so we're going on a, over a little over six months, an attempt to give a concrete timeline for the intelligence explosion. Concretely, it predicts that AI, uh, leading AI companies have full self-improving AI. Um, country of genuses and dances by June of 2027, or about two years. Today's mid-2025, about 3.5 months after the narrative was posted. This means that we have passed about 13% of the time. Specifically, we should consider the points made in the narrative's first section, mid-2025 stumbling agents. The term mid-2025 is fairly ambiguous, but we're definitely at this point in time. This is, and this article was written in June, in July, right? But what we're actually seeing here is that OpenAI has mentioned several benchmark improvements for this model on their blog. However, it does not mention OS world performance at all. So we can see that, you know, the SWE benchmarks, which, which I was just talking about, you know, we're forecast mid 2025 will score 85. Uh, it looks like we're not even, we're still, you know, at best, you know, six percentage points away from that. And that's with multiple open AI releases this year. So this guy goes back and researches and publishes patrons. His attention knows all I need. And he goes through and saying, like, look, this isn't going to happen anytime soon. And so this guy goes back and goes through the history of AI. Um, so, I mean, ultimately, we can see plenty of people talking here that open this, this open AI 2027 is far from happening, right? Um, you know, and, and as they go through this, OpenAI was, was made specific predictions about mid-2025, but we can see that we're way past that now. And already by the end of 2025, we're nowhere near what they would pre have predicted for mid-2025. Now, Gary Marcus did the math on AI 2027 as devastating for the scenario's credibility. The scenario requires approximate 8% different unlikely events to all occur on schedule, each one a lottery ticket. Like, you know, the lottery ticket of one in like a trillion chances of happening. But even being generous and giving each event a 5% chance of happening, you'd get a very small, small number. Marcus writes, quote, the chance that we will have all been replaced by domestic human-like animals who live in glorified cages in the next decade is indistinguishable from zero. This is likely predicting you'll win the lottery eight times in a row and then acting surprised when it doesn't happen. So after 25 years in software, I can tell you that any project with eight critical dependencies has close to zero chance of working. Now, 
AI 2027 document uses narrative techniques. It's a story. It's not a forecast. Characters, plot, drama, because that's what makes fiction compelling. Now, it, the, it's the narrative techniques, not forecasting. And so the document claims that the impact of AI will exceed the Industrial Revolution, but never actually argues for this claim. It's just an assertion. The comparison to Orson Welles' War of the Worlds broadcast keeps coming up in critiques, both caused panic through vivid storytelling. When your doomsday prediction reads more like Tom Clancy novel than a research paper, maybe it is a novel. So it's funny that they're still holding you to this as the claim of what will happen in the future, when in reality, it's really just a good bunch of science fiction. So AI 2027 assumes both a smooth path from current AI to superintelligence with minimal obstacles. But in reality, we're hitting data limits. We've basically used up the whole energy, uh, internet. We're hitting energy training constraints and regulatory roadblocks. The scenario assumes perfect execution by AI companies while ignoring bureaucracy, competition, talent shortages, and technical debt. So Vitalik Buterin, the Ethereum, the Ethereum founder, another you know technology that was predicted to have over, would overtake the world, wrote a detailed response showing how defense, defensive technologies would also improve, not just offensive ones. The document assumes humans would just passively let AI take over without mounting any effective resistance or countermeasures. Real world, real world engineers involve constant setbacks, pivots, and delays. Now. AI 2027 has China stealing AI weights, nationalizing their AI industry, and racing towards superintelligence. But instead, what it's done is it's been releasing a ton of open source models, training on the cheap, beating us at energy, and all a very different set of stories and timelines than what we're already seeing in AI 2027. So AI 2027 treats AI alignment like a video game boss. that either works or doesn't and conveniently fails at exactly the right moment for the drama. Real AI safety research involves thousands of incremental problems, not one big will it be aligned question. The scenario assumes AI will be smart enough to deceive humans, but dumb enough to get caught uh, at convenient uh, plot movements. So actual alignment researchers have criticized the scenario for making alignment failure seems both inevitable and dramatically timed. So this is screenwriting logic, not engineering logic. And the AI, the AI 2027 fails exactly when the plot needs tension. So AI 2027 predicts a 30% stock market increase by 20, in 2026 led by AI companies, but already we're seeing AI companies' valuations be strongly questioned and starting to drop. Major tech companies are already pulling back on some AI investments as ROI questions mount. The document ignores the possibility that investors might wake up to the bubble before the apocalypse arrives, or that there would hit scaling limits, that we would be hitting uh, data limits, and a lot of other problems. So Ilya Suskiver just recently said that we're past the age of scale and into the age of research. AI 2027 just assumes the age of scale would continue exponentially. So the AI 2027 team has added disclaimers since publication, quote, we don't know exactly when AGI will be built. 2027 was our model, most likely year at the time, end quote. Now, their updated model now puts median timelines in 2020, 2030 and beyond, with only 25 to 40 percent probability of later of their scenario before. Now, a lot of different posts from the rationalist community, which is generally sympathetic to these concerns, criticize the timeline as too aggressive. When your own community is publishing posts like agents lack behind 2027 schedule and deep critique of AI 2027 bad timeline, most honest assess assessments came from one analyst. Quote, if we stretch the entire timeline by the current delay factor, a self-improving AI is achieved roughly by 2029 to tw uh, instead of 2027, if ever. Now, the 2029 number, in my opinion, is about 20 years off. I don't think we'll ever see truly self-learning AI. I think it will always require uh, humans in the loop for that. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love to have a great discussion. So make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure and like and subscribe. Here at Startup Hack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out if we can help. Check out startuphack.com and hear some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive Executive without the full-time commitment, perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting-edge technology without expanding headcount. 
My team at Startup Pack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI-powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer.